We who believe in freedom cannot rest until it comes. We who believe in freedom cannot rest. Jataka, I am so thrilled to be congratulating you for receiving the Heather Booth Award. You are so deserving, and this honor and your recognition is a thrill, not only to me, but to young women around the country. Continue to do the good work that you're doing. Thank you on behalf of all the Americans who are impacted by what you do. We who believe in freedom cannot rest. Won't you help to sing another song of freedom? Hi, I'm Reverend Al Shopton, President of National Action Network. I want to congratulate Joe Taker Edie for receiving the Midwest Academy Heather Booth Award. Her combination of fire and commitment is what is needed for progressive movements in this country. She embodies a spirit, whether she is fighting for women's rights or civil rights or environmental rights, or any part of the progressive agenda that would make this a more perfect union. Joe Taker has been there on the front line, behind the scenes, and anywhere she is needed. She exemplifies the new, young, and, in my opinion, needed leadership for the progressive coalition in this nation. Joe Taker, you are already a historic figure. These songs of freedom, songs of freedom. If you hear this message, to know Joe Takeidi is to know someone who is a bridge builder and a true miracle worker. I've known Joe Taker for half her life. And shortly before we met, she was working in a drive through lane at a McDonald's in Johnsonville. Reading the newspaper, she realized that our country was still putting young people to death. She was outraged and said, This has to stop. And less than 10 years later, she was the person, more than any other person in this country, responsible for ensuring that our country stopped doing something it had been doing for centuries and abolished the juvenile death penalty. She did it by building bridges of understanding that nobody thought was possible. Indeed, the entire ABA had pushed on this issue and had gone 0 for 10. But when there were just three states needed before we could go into the Supreme Court and abolish it in the entire country, Jotaka went 3 for 3. And for that, she will always be my hero. Here at the NAACP, Jotaka Eady has led the charge in ways that are inspiring and yield real results. Thank you, Jotaka, from the bottom of my heart and on behalf of the 1,200 active units of the NAACP. If you hear this message, wherever you stand, call every woman, call every man.